Hello, welcome back to Funtime Cross 24 7. This is a nether let's make video, and what we're making today is we are scrapbooking. Uh, still putting pages together. I know there's so many of them, um, but Crop at Home 4 is coming up, and um, I really want to practice putting pages together and layouts and things like that. And I was inspired by a recent post, uh, no, an email of the uh, Crop at Home for sales on HSN. I think it was for that, or maybe it was the Wildflower one. Anyways, there was an email. There was a scrapbook page layout that I thought was so cute. And so I thought I would um, put my spin on their idea or a version of. <laughs> so anyways, I got out my heirloom, uh, Anna Griffin Crop at Home 2 um, heirloom kit um, because I'm thinking I want to use pink. And, uh, I want to use pink. And basically when I saw the layout, it reminded me of uh, back in the day, uh, we used to make, um, like these really cute bulletin boards that had crisscross straps across them. And you would stuff photos and things, mementos and whatnot. There were, a, there were a bullet, bulletin board, but they were super cute. And they had straps that uh, elastic bands that you could put photos in. Um, super cute. And um, for like your office space, home office, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Um, probably a dorm room, things like that. But um, that's what it reminded me of, the page reminded me of. So um, that's kind of what we're going to recreate today with this here. And some other stuff in my stash. Because um, I think I'm going to use the, um, and I know I want to do pink. So, oh, there's a flower for my, one of my other projects. Um, I know I want to do pink, so let's see uh, what we have. And these are double-sided. So we have this. And we have this beautiful paper that is gorgeous. I love the gold foiling. And, oh, I love that beautiful paper. And that is absolutely beautiful. Um, that is gorgeous. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, oh, that's lovely. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love that. Okay, but there's more. There's more. Let's keep uh, flipping through here really quick. Let's just uh, kind of freshen our minds and see what else is in here. Because uh, you kind of forget if you don't look at it all the time. Or if you look through tons of paper collections, you kind of forget what's, what is aware. Yeah, so I was actually supposed to be, like, burning ditches today and stuff like that, doing a bunch of outside, like, gardening chores and stuff. But we got inundated with rain this morning. Um, and it just poured, so the ground is soaking wet, which gives me a chance to come in here and play. So I think I've already seen all these. and um, But it also uh, reminds me to say, okay, I've already looked at all these. So I think what I want to do is a little confirmation. Those are really pretty, but I think I like the contrast of these two. So I'm going to do these two. Um, okay, so I think what I want to do is... Oh, we could go that way. Oh, wait. What if we go this way? So this one would be our crisscrossy one. This one would be what we'd make the strips out of. And this, which would go on top of this, but I'm putting... I, I want to put borders around it to hide the ends of the strips. So, it would be what you would see underneath. That would be really pretty. But we could do this pattern on this. Um, I actually like that a lot. I could actually do this. And then you would see the gold behind. So, let's do that. Okay. So, let me see if there's two of this this one here. But I need a, probably a couple of these for... Oh, right there. Um, I probably need a couple of these for strips. Okay. So, we got two and two. Let's do that. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, so we got a, oh, and then I'll need, oh, I'll need some for background as well. Let me get a sheet of this, too, for, uh, the background of the photo frames that we pop on these. We'll need something, something, oh, because we could use this, though. We could use this, actually, on top. Oh, that, that'd be really, well, we have, we have choices, people. We've got choices. Okay, so so where did I end up? So that's those two and two, and I need one more of these. Okay, we have we have choices. Let's just pick these, and we can always get more. 
Okay. So, yeah, so that brings me to my other uh, point is, um, I think this is probably going to be my last video until Crop at Home 4. And it's because I have a ton of outside uh, stuff to do. And um, with the gardening and stuff like that, we're getting, today we're actually getting five pallets of bark mulch delivered and a pallet of potting soil. So somebody has to put that down. <laughs> I pick me. <laughs> because it'll be so satisfying and beautiful when it's done. Um, so that is a lot of work though. And it's also tax season. So I got a bunch of paperwork to do at work. So this probably will be my last video until Crop at Home 4. Now, with that being said, there's also a caveat to Crop, crop at Home 4. Um, they sent my email to my personal email account to sign in for Crop at Home 4 of which is not associated with this channel, and I prefer it to be that way because I don't like the two to cross over. I like my personal life to be my personal life and my YouTube life to be my YouTube life, and never the two should meet. <laughs> you know, because you don't know who's out there, right? I mean, that's all I'm saying. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to log into it if we don't get it fixed. However, I talked to Stephanie. Stephanie said she was fixing it, and I sent the email like she requested, um, to say that I needed it changed, plus the information of my registration that said where I registered at originally, and um, all that good stuff. So hopefully they get it fixed. She's usually really cool about it, but if it doesn't get fixed, because it gets, I mean, they're like right there with all the other technical stuff for the event, so I get it. Um, but if it doesn't get fixed, then I will uh, not see you at the event. I will just see you after classes. Um, when I do my project shares on the channel. Uh, so just a little FYI, I wanted to be, have that line of communication. Like, where are you? Why aren't you there? That is the reason. So um, before I forget to tell you that, I, w I wanted to just let that be known. I don't know. I'm trying to be there, but I don't know if I'll actually be able to be at the event um, because of that situation. So now let's get into the fun stuff. So look at all these beautiful things. Oh, I need gold. Uh, so I got the borders because these came with the kit. I got the foliage because it came with the kit. The titles. Oh, I wonder if we have any titles. Um, you know what I was thinking too about this this page would be so stinky cute. Is if you if you did the page like I'm thinking about and used the dress. Um, the dress. I have the dress. I guess when I was flipping through my dies to see what I wanted to use. Um, I have. I picked up the dress dies. And if you did those all in white with like a wedding dress theme and it would be like um, you like could title it, you know, like say yes to the dress. You could make that on your scan and cut or on your Cricut. You could say yes to the dress. And it's like you're trying on your wedding dresses and you could put little, you know, you can like it's it's a fun, you know, because these are those um, bulletin board t styles. And you're trying on your dresses, like, which one are you going to pick, you know? And then you could highlight the one that you actually get. And I just thought, oh, my gosh, that would be so cute if you did it. And they were all little, like, on each of the pictures that had, like, a little wedding dress, dress form, you know, next to it. Wouldn't that be so cute? And they're all cut out in, like, white pearlescent. You put little lacy trims on them and stuff like that so they all look like little wedding dresses. And you could, like, hang a little tool, um, make a little tool, um veil and stuff to hang off of them or things like that wouldn't that be so cute oh my gosh I thought that would be adorable but anyway so there's an idea if you're I know anyone getting married <laughs> uh you are your daughter uh granddaughter whatever um let's see okay well there's a few pink ones so we might end up using the title dies I think I think I'm gonna get the title dies out of the crop at home three and use those I think that's what I'm gonna do Maybe. Put a pin in that. Okay, so what else do we have here? I just want to see if I have to pull out any other flowers or if I might be able to utilize these. Because I think I'm going to do gold frames, one of the patterns. What do we have? These are pretty. Look at these. Those are so pretty. But I wonder what it will look like with the contrast. Okay, let's get started on the pages. Because actually, yeah, this is not going to be how I think it's going to be because there's actually going to be big contrast with this if we use that in the background. So let's get this started put together. So 
Uh, let me um, move some of this stuff over. And yeah, let's see what we want to do here. So how big, uh, how big are we wanting to go stripe wise? And I think I want to use these. Yeah. And are these going to be too wide? What color are these? Oh no, those are not the right color. Let's see. So, this is going to be here. Oh. Where do you have? I think they're, they contrast more here. Um. Hmm. Do a gold border? What are you thinking? I think this pops on here more, actually. Okay, that's cool. We'll just go reverse. This will be really fun. Well, we'll just do the uh, stripes this way. So let's do this. This will be, be our base. I like the contrast of this on this. And if we do a little die cutting here uh, with some borders, we'll do some die cut borders and then throw some texture on there. And then so they're not so wide, what we could do is we'll just cut these in half. We'll just cut these in half. So do like, you know, a little border like that big all the way around. And then we'll do thin strips of this. So I think maybe, let's get the uh, paper trimmer. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So let's see. Um, What are we thinking? I think this would be pretty good. Let's see, what is that? I don't even know. Oh, my measuring eye isn't working very good. <laughs> that was like maybe three eighths or something. Oh, actually, let's look at this. So let's go. That's a quarter. That's that's too small. So let's go. What do we think about three eighths? No, nah, let's go half. Oh, half inch is actually pretty nice. I wonder how many of these we would need. Uh, let's do like a couple of them. Let's go. Um, let's do like six of them and see what that gets us. Like, see see what kind of design like we're gonna end up looking at uh let's see let's see and then uh yeah see watch you'll see what i'm talking about when we go um oh and that's actually going to determine too because yeah i wanted him to go this way so my square my page is square oh yeah i didn't even think of that my page is square so this is going to be the longest one here. So actually, I'm going to have to figure out where... Oh, is it even going to work? Is my plan even going to work? Oh, yeah, and I was going to cut those in half. So this would have to go here at an angle. To down here oh shoot okay well that's okay um let's see let's get these two just to see where we're at we can make up the difference it'll be all right um oh and i only have two more of these anyways oh shoot i thought there was eight um that's okay okay so we'll have to cut these in half we'll have to make our gold a little bit bigger we'll ad lib with that Oh, yeah, see, it doesn't even fit, so... But then, are you going to have room for pictures? So... Oh, wait, so there? Oh, we'd only have to make up the difference with... So, how big are these? Okay, let's see. These are inch and a half. So, if we were inch and three-quarter total on our borders, we would be doing great. So... So inch and three quarters, right? If we're inch and three quarters, it would make that gap up on both sides. And this would just fit. So, and then what do we think about this design? Uh, what do we think about the contrast, I mean, rather? And what are we going to end up, like, how far apart and things? Because, um, yeah, they'll stretch on, on all the other ones across like that. And... Like so. So let's do a few more just to see if we like it. Oh, I hope it doesn't. Uh, so we're going to go half inch. Where are we at? Nine. Let's go nine. 
Let's just do a couple more. We had the sacrifice, right? You don't know until you try. Okay, a couple more. Okay, maybe one more. Here we go. Oh, sorry, fake earthquake. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. So let's go. What do we think about this? Don't you think that's looking like one of those? Uh, you know, those like bulletin board styles? Like that. And then let's take this out and it's going to go like that, right? I mean, won't that be really cool? We could pop these up. We could do a gold border here to make up the difference. We could do a gold border and like a lace trim. Yeah, we'll do a lace trim. We'll do gold, lace trim, and then this border. We'll cut these in half so we have enough for both sides. And we'll just make this the width that we need it to be. So we'll do these at like an inch and a half and then punch a border on them. So I'll make eight, eight inch and a half strips because we needed it to be what again? These are inch and a half. No, no, no. We need it to be inch and three quarter. So I'm going to do two inch strips, eight two inch strips in gold. So when we punch it, they'll be inch and three quarter because that's all we're going to need. They'll be inch and three quarters. So that'll work out good. And then we'll get some texture. And so I like this. So I'm thinking that I think we need one more here and one more there. So this is actually a pretty decent amount. Um, So what is there? Five, nine, 11. So we need 11 half inch strips for each side. So you need 22 total half inch strips. So I think I'm going to cut out a bunch more strips. I'm going to cut out eight two inch strips of gold, eight two inch strips of gold. And then once I punch it, it'll give me a probably one and three quarter. And then we'll, and I'm going to cut these in half. So I'm going to do eight two inch strips, cut all these in half and make sure I have about 22, 22 of these half inch, 12 inch strips. And I will be right back. Okay, so I got my pieces. Um, let's see. I forgot. Um, I basically did... What did I do here? <laughs> I Oh, I did the whole page of this one whole page. Just cut it into half inch strips. And it ended up with um, two, four, six, uh, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen... 16, 18, 20, 24, 24 strips is what I ended up with when I cut this into half inch strips. So that's more than enough for each of the pages. Um, and then I ended up, I cut eight uh, gold two inch borders. I cut these in half. And then what I did was um, I was trying to make this a border, um, as then oh so i guess i'm done with this hang on hold on okay i was trying to make this border here as thin as i can but to uh um it, but i wanted to be able to um you know i had to cover that gap that was from here to here with the the strip that was not long enough like so um i i needed to fill that gap in so i think this size will actually do it and um so then when i was looking at it and i was doing half like this it's like wow that is a really wide and we could emboss that we could add another a paper on top of that but i thought it'd be really fun and um to add some texture to the page which is always fun i love doing that um i found this lace uh this lace trim uh which is about one, 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 one and an eighth inch wide, one and an eighth inch, one inch right in there, um, wide. Um, I got this off of Amazon. It came in a multi pack that had all different sizes. Um, and so I found that, that I'm actually going to stick this border to that stripe there like this. And then I'm going to adhere this down to the gold. And then I was like, it still needs a little something to cover up that cut edge because I want to keep I want to keep this defined a uh, gold border here that's on this border at the bottom. Uh, it helps to say this is my boundary. 
And I like that. And so then I found this other um, trim in my stash that is a flowered trim. Got this off of Amazon as well. Just type in um, embroidered flower trim. Um, and a bunch of styles will come up and this will too. And it's very affordable. It You get it, you get like 10 yards of it or five yards. And I think this is just a few bucks. It's it's not very expensive. Um, neither is like some of this. You get like a multi-pack and it's like, I want to say less than $10. And each of these come in like yards of, each spool is really big, um, has a lot of yards. So you don't have to worry about like running out or anything um, on a scrapbook project or something. I mean, unless you're doing like super detailed pieces of it, you know. But um, I wanted something to cover up that edge. Um, and I thought this, like, wait, right? Even though it's more on the purple spectrum than it is on the pink, I think it actually works and just pops. The other thing is, is this flower border is more on a like this is like m like mauve more to the mauve side and this is like kind of to the purple side it seems like and the greens really went nice with this this like kind of it's not really a sagey green it's like a yellowy this is a sage like pine green and this is like a pine yellow green but it like melds them together really really nice and I just thought just kind of blended really good um the texture with the colors just like was really really nice right like isn't that gonna be so pretty and then all our crisscrossies, right, would be really cool. So now um, I used on this, I decided a scallop was the nicest way to go to give me the most width uh, to take up my gaps. And so I'm using this Fisker's um, scallop punch. And you can get this on Joann's, scrapbook.com, Amazon, Michael's. Um, a lot of places sell this. Like it's walmart.com, readily available. Um there you go. But Joann's generally has a lot of punches and they have, they have a lot of punches. They have like for, um, variation or, um, selection. They have a big selection of punches. If you type in punches, um, I don't know if you have to do, I think if you just type in punches, like a bunch of these will come up. That's where I used to buy all mine at. And you would like, if you hit the sales on them, I would just randomly, every now and again, I would type in punches and you would hit a sale or I would hit a sale. And then I would buy a bunch of them because to me, if you want to have a quick crafting project, punches are the way to go. Like they're so fast. You don't have to load anything. You don't have to download anything. You don't, you just get it out and use it and you're, it's not like you don't have to run it through a machine. You can just do it. <laughs> it's it's so weird. Sometimes I feel like all the other things you do are so much more work. And I just want to punch something out. <laughs> With a crafting punch. <laughs> don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> okay, but... I just find I just want to use my punches because they're just so easy and they make beautiful things really fast. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, what am I going to do? Oh, yeah, I'm going to punch all these out. And so I will be well, let me show you like these punches are really cool. Um, They have a guide on both sides. So it's a wider than what this is. And so what I do is to make it easy, I take the edge the edge of my uh, item that I want to punch out, so this being a border, I'll take the edge of my border and I'm going to line it up at the end of the picture here. And um, I thought that was the people delivering the bark mulch. Line it up at the end of the picture there and then I'm going to punch, making sure that my paper's all the way on this back edge and punch it. And so then you come up with this. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ticker tape back to the right and finish punching this side out. But what I do is this right here, this block here, um, is where it punches the design. So I'm going to make sure that my last scallop is under that block. So when I slide this in, I'm going to make sure that scallop is there straight back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the picture with these two scallops here. So I'm going to go like so. And then I'm going to punch. Uh, and then I think I actually went too far, but that's okay. So I have one more left. So I'm just going to ticker tape, making sure that this is under under here. 
uh, under the block and then line these up here cover making sure that it all matches and then i'm going to punch punch this whoa but not over that's the thing is you don't want to go over it'll pun punch it at a funky angle and you also want to make sure that the paper you're still punching is all the way to the back of the punch as well as this this being lined up so and voila and then make sure this scallop so i'm going to ticker take back to the left and then finish punching this out so this this is under the block that punches line up the picture uh line up the picture on the left and then make sure the paper is all the way to the back edge on the right and then see, and I'm going to keep doing that all the way down till I get to the end and do it on all of these. And I'll be right back. Okay. So here we go. Got all those borders done. And now what we want to do is, oh, hang on. That's buddy. Okay. So, um, I've actually, uh, turned my, while I was at it, I turned my hot glue gun on as well. And what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm actually going to get rid of some of these, uh, because I'm going to just do one page at a time. To see if this is going to work out or not. <laughs> Before I get way ahead of myself. <laughs> we really need to see if. <laughs> um, what reality is like actually here. Um, <laughs> if it's going to pan out like we're hoping. So. Um, yeah. So I need one more of these. And actually yeah. Let's. Let's put our borders down. Just to see where. We're going to actually end up with these cross ones here. With my faux little um, pieces, is that going to go? Oh, it's barely going to go, but it'll go. It'll go. It'll be under there, and it'll it'll go. <laughs> barely, but we're going to make it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, we're, we're going to make it, though. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's it's like it's like barely gonna go. Yeah, but see it, it touches there, it, it hits there and hits there. So yeah, we'll we'll just make that. Which is good. <laughs> All you have to do is barely make it, right? So okay. So now let's go ahead and do the borders then. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, I'm gonna take this lace. So I need to cut eight chunks of I'm going to do them at like 12 and a half inches, uh, primarily because, um, uh, primarily because I want to cut it off smooth at the end. So I'm going to take these, uh, ones that I cut in half that were included in the kit and I'm going to take the backer off and then, cause there's stickers and then I'm going to adhere the cut edge onto that line there. I cover up that, um, cover up that little lace, that little lace trim line there. And then what I can do is I can adhere this, uh, to here, to the bottom edge of this one, the gold one that I cut the scallop in, like so. And then I can go ahead and flip this over, trim that to fit on both sides, and then I can uh, hot glue this little piece, uh, this little pretty flowered trim there. Right? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my heavens, that's so pretty. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what, though? I think... I think I want to do this, put this on after we miter them on the page, actually. So I'm actually just going to do this, this part here. Um, yeah, I'm actually just going to do this part here. And I'm going to do that uh, on all eight, all eight layers. Uh, I'm going to attach this border and then attach them to the gold ones. So attach this border to the bottom of the lace and then attach that to this one. And then we'll start uh, putting those on. Uh, yeah, then we'll adhere them. No, then we'll arrange our stripes. So hang on one second. Let me get these done. Okay, I got the first four done because then I, I was like, well, what if this doesn't work? <laughs> I, do, I, I don't want to waste all the 
I don't want to waste all the lace trim and stuff uh, or the borders and all that for that matter. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere these down and then figure out, well, um, adhere them down and then figure out what I want to do with um, uh, how I want to attach these. So I think what I want to do with these, though, is I want to pop these up. And I'm going to pop those up with, oh, darn. I was going to do them with Heartfelt Creations. Oh, but I don't know if I have. Oh. Let me get some dimensionals. Hang on. Okay, so I actually found some um, strip uh, foam tape. And uh, this stuff is like three millimeter deep. And um, this stuff... This one is like, I think like half the thickness. I want these borders to be taller than these, but I do want these to have dimension as well. So I'm going to use these thinner ones uh, to adhere these down. Uh, but these borders, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the foam tape like right in the center. Um, just right. I'm going to leave a couple of inches from each end. Um that way I can still do my mitered corners. And actually, if I was thinking about this, did I stick it down already? Yeah, it's stuck down already. Okay, that's okay. If I was thinking about it, I would have actually adhered all the corners together and then flipped the whole thing over. And I'm, I might still try to do that, actually. Um, and the reason I was thinking about doing it that way is because I think if the corners were taped together, were stuck together, um, you would get a better mitered corner for the way that I do it. I do my mitered corners different than uh, like most everybody else um, because it works for me. Well, kind of. <laughs> I guess it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyways, it's how I do it. How about we just say that? It's the way it's the way that I feel that I can do it the most efficiently. How's that sound? <laughs> uh, so I think uh, I want to, let's see, let's see this. So what I'm going to do is the one, yeah, yeah, the one on the top. Um, okay. Yeah. The one on the top is, is the one that's getting peeled away. So I'm just lining these up where I feel like they're going to live at the end. So I'm going to do the same thing to this one. Put a little tape and then layer this one on the top. Oh, this layer this one on the top because it doesn't have foam tape on it. There we go. Layer this one at the edge. Oh, no, no. Ooh, that sticks good. That ATG permanent tape runner. Uh, like so. And then we'll see if we can adhere this one to the top. And I'm just lining these up with the edge of the page is literally all I'm doing. Um, probably shouldn't move them around too much if we can at all help it. Um... To keep them square is why. And then I think what I'm going to do is. Uh, I have to put tape on these. And it's easier if I do it this way. On both of these. And then we'll see about lining them up. So I'm going to do it like this. Right here. Okay, line these, just trying to make sure I'm square on all the edges with my borders. And that way, when I layer this last one up, it will all line up to, for the most part the best it can. Yeah, okay. And then I'm just going to, because remember, this one has adhesive on it already. So I'm kind of dealing with that. And I wish, I, I, if I had my brothers, I would not have put adhesive on it already. 
But since I did, we'll work with it and hope for the best. Okay, now, now I'm going to flip this over and still do the same thing. Only put adhesive in the center. Like basically from here to here. And that's so that way when I peel these off and stick this whole thing down, I can roll the paper back and cut it. Like you'll see. I'll, I'll do it with you. So just, just from here to here, still. Um, well, I, ha I have to, actually, I'm just going to put this in the center. Because um, I forgot I have to tuck. Um, I'm just going to put one piece. I forgot I have to tuck um, the those strips under this too. So, just there to there, and then last one on this. And uh, you'll want to make sure, too, that you have enough foam tape or whatever you're using for dimensionals that you have enough to do the other page as well. <laughs> uh, don't You don't want to run out. <laughs> so, I'll do the other one, and then I'll strategically put little pieces in, I think, because I don't know if that's going to be enough for the other page if I did two strips on it also so what I'm going to do is peel these off now and these are already on so we're just going to go for it like so and this one and then I'm going to line this up with this page here again so I don't know if there's even a pattern like a right way but I didn't really do a right way on this either so now I just have to line this up with the top The, the top, the sides. Oh, yeah. Uh, just trying to make sure everything looks happy for the most part before I press it down. And it, it, it looks pretty good to me. I think I'm going to just call that. So I'm pressing. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to get long scissors. I'm going to make sure I have a pair of long scissors that will cut through. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this same technique that I've been trying to make work uh, for mitering my corners. And I'm going to cut from there, this, this corner to this corner, hopefully in one foul swoop. And hopefully it does it. Okay, and then what we do is we peel these pieces away from there as well as the bottom. Oh, I should have taped it as well. Okay, so what do we think? Did it go? Well, it went, but this didn't get stuck down, did I not? Oh, wow. I can't even believe that worked because... Um, it wasn't even stuck... This one wasn't even stuck down. Isn't that crazy? But the corner's not so bad, right? That That isn't so bad. That might be because I was able to adjust it. <laughs> well, maybe don't tape them down and just cut them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, these are adhered down, so still going to do the same thing. Let's see if it was a fluke or not, right? So from that corner, see my scissors out there? So lining them up. And then peel the stuff off that you're not going to use. And the same with the bottom one. Oh, did I? Oh, shoot. But make sure you get your... Oh, make sure you cut your lease all the way through, though. Oh, bummer. Oh. If you put lace trim on, make sure you cut all the way through or it's grouchy. <laughs> Oh, but I think the taping it actually, taping them together actually worked pretty good. Look at that. That's not bad. Although definitely make sure what piece stays on top. Oh, the, the corner that stays on the top. Huh. I don't know how else I would have done that. Okay, let's try it again though. But that's pretty decent. Look how pretty that is. So taping them definitely works for this trick. That's pretty good. Now the only thing we have to remember is to um, 
cut all the way through the lace. <laughs> there. Right? Okay, how did we do? Hey, that looks pretty good. Look at that. Pretty decent. Yeah, and that lace is so pretty with those mitered corners, right? That is a nice little detail there. So I'll have to put um I have to put pop dots under there, you know. So we'll we'll still do that. Put little foam tapes there. And the last one on this one. Okay, so at the corner. So I'm gonna hold it now. Okay. Look at that! It did it! So now I just have to peel this one off. Oh, that's what I was hoping for, was that it was going to be on the bottom. Okay, so... Okay, so... Oh, that was... That one was on the bottom. So how was it layered that it got to stay? I wanted the sticky on the bottom, but look at... Look how pretty that is. So it's a little bit off there because they weren't connected at the top. So, I don't think you're going to notice that, though. I, I'm i not even going to worry about that. I will trim it a tad. There. I don't think you're going to notice that, though. But look at That still looks really, really nice, right? They're together. I just have to, um, I got to uh, put the foam so they're not moving back and forth. I got to put the foam tape under them. But I think, right? That worked out pretty good. Like, that looks... Here, let's put it on the table. Like, right? That looks pretty decent. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so let me put some dimensionals under the corners of these. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just cut little pieces off to go like that underneath. And that way they're the same size. Um, there, It's the same thickness as what's down, what's what's holding it up already. And then it will hold the, the two corners together as well. So I'm just going to... I'm going to do like, like this, just like that, and then press these to it. And I think they should all come out like that. And then look how nice that looks. That's pretty good. So let me do that all the way around and do my other page, and I'll be right back. Okay, so look at that. Isn't that terrific? I uh, got all the corners done, and they look really sinking nice. I mean, that that is decent. That is pretty decent. So very excited about that. So now what uh, I'd like to do is I'd like to take this thinner dimensionals and I'm going to start uh, lay laying out my uh, strips like so. And I think what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm not going to try to like intertwine them or anything. Uh, I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to take a ruler and, uh, make sure that the spacing is good on them and that the spacing is good on them. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just lining up, trying to make sure that I'm centered in my corner to my corner before I actually commit to this one. And, uh, I'm just going to make sure that, uh, yeah. And then I just tucked them under. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna, just gonna do that. Although I feel like that one actually needed a little bit more help, uh, on the ends for dimension. Cause it, it looks a little bit, oh darn it. It looks a little flat here and I do want to make sure it's, it's standing up. These are just really thin. There, but that looks better, right? That looks way better. Um, that looks way better. So, okay, and we'll just finagle that one back under. Okay, hey, that looks good. That looks good. Look at the dimension on that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go, and then these will be. So what? Let's see. What were we kind of thinking for? Uh, the amount that we're going to use is going to be like so. Uh, I think we're going to go like that. Um, should I just eyeball it? Could I just eyeball it maybe? Or do I need to? 
I probably need to <laughs> measure it, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I should totally measure. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I think what I'm going to do... Oh, that one, I think I need one more too right here. To go like right there. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we're not going to worry about... The other one will... There'll be another one that goes here to here. And then the other ones, we could just lay on top of these. We don't have to put dimensionals on them. So I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to do like... What is that, an inch? Let's see. What do we got going on here? That is... Yeah. Oh, and uh, uh, let's see. Half... Oh, yeah, it's an inch in between each one. So I'm actually going to just adhere them at an inch in between each. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm just going to put my T ruler. Right here on on the edge of this one. And then uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some. Let's see, strip dimensionals. Uh, let's see. Maybe here. Well, we, I, I did. I, I learned my lesson. I, I should have started at the top and then went down. Uh, actually, because that other one needed help. Okay, so let's just eyeball this. It's gonna go out a, an. It's gonna go out an inch and a half. So then to here. So then we'll just put this one like so, like that. Okay, so let's. Uh, peel the backers off. These. There we go. You have to press them down to make sure they adhere to the paper really good. Okay, and then I'm going to line it up at, at an inch and a half here and an inch and a half there because we're already at a half inch and then that'll give me my, my inch, my inch and a half gap there. And I'm just going to I'm just going to sneak this under just a little bit. And then, um, let's see, right a half there, so. Are we back? Half and half. There we go. And now I'll just sneak this one under like that. That looks pretty good. And then this one, we can cut it off. And I didn't put tape all the way there. And then it'll just go under this way. Oh. Uh, there must be. Yeah, there is. There. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're there. And so then this one is going to be. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're at two there. So then this one's going to be up at three now. This one's going to be at three, but I don't need to do that long. So actually, I'm going to measure and cut this one off. And uh, this one I have to go short because um, I got to go short on this one because there's foam tape there. So I'm going to put a strip dimensional on this one. And I'm still going to put a little chunk because it doesn't like it. If it doesn't have any under there. Oops. I guess so. These are sticky. Okay, and then we're going to go at three. Oh, man. There. I think we're good there. And then we'll just... Ah. Uh. There. Does that look pretty good?
Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty decent. Oh, I'm off there. Am I? Oh, I'm off up here. Um, I don't. I I think that's good. I I don't think you even notice it hardly. And actually, I didn't get it tucked in all the way right there. Oh, that stinks. Well, I'll be sure to put something there. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh shoot! Can I just put some? Can I just run a piece over the top of it? <laughs> no. I'll just put a decoration there. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, well, don't do that, guys. Don't mess it up. Okay, so we're we're now on here. And we're going to go an inch and a half here. So we're there. We're right here. I can just see it. So I think I'm going to have to be like right... Um, I almost tried to cut my finger off about there, and I'll put a, um, foam tape on this one. Press it down, and then we'll get this one in. See if we can do it. So we're going to go about... Yay. Right there. Sweet. Yep, right there. And then I'm still thinking I have to cut this one. And tuck it under. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, look how pretty. Isn't that looking pretty? Oh, I like it. Okay, let me do this side here the same way. And then we'll do the ones on the top. I'll be right back. Okay, look at that. I um, think that looks pretty neat, doesn't it? And uh, yeah, going to be super fun. So let's do the ones that go the other way now. And I'm just going to lay these right on top. Like so. Oh, so four, six, seven. So we did use seven. Oh, let's see. So we're going to need 14. I don't even remember how many I cut. Okay, so I'm just going to look at the dimension there. I'm just going to cut them and lay them on top now. I don't think you'll really notice they're not intertwined. I think it'll just be really fun. So actually, I think what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of glue uh, on them. Uh, or, yeah, what could I do there? Um, I could probably put a pop dot, I guess. I could put a little sticky dot on there. Or I could just put some glue on this whole stripe. Mm. Let's see, what should I do with this? Mm. So they don't... Well, the glue might shift. Um. Well, that'd be alright, I guess. Because it, it might actually be nice to... Be able to shift these. Maybe. Maybe we do want to shift them. So there we go there. And oh and actually what I could do is just put this one on on top for now. Actually. And then I can lift this up. And go ahead and put a dollop of glue. Wherever this one is gonna lay down uh, like that yeah actually I could just do that uh yeah oh I like that and then they're kind of stretched tight anyways and that looks really cool I think I think that's like really cool so then I'll just I'll just um can we oh yeah oh that looks good that looks really good Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so now... Oh, did it... I think it moved. Whoopsie. Okay, I think that looks pretty good there. That's We're going to stick. We're just going to leave it like that. Now what we want to do is we want to go inch and a half on all these other ones here um, to make sure that we're the same spacing. So let's see what that looks like. 
uh, inch and a half spacing. And this actually might be easier to glue them down. Uh, just because I can, um, I can layer it, uh, like put it on the line there, and then I can just put a bead of glue, uh, wherever it looks like it's gonna go. Oh, inch and a half. Oh, farfig nugan. Uh, and then this one. Let's see this one. We'll slide under. We'll go ahead and slide that one under. We'll go ahead and line this up at an inch and a half. Whoops. Oh, am I lined up? Oh, that's hilarious. There we go. Oh, oh, right there. Right there. Everybody's lined up. Is this one? I think this one's off now. So we're on there. We're off there. I'm trying to make sure that in that two inch gap, they're both lined up in the same spot. There we go. Now press. Stick, stick, stick down. <laughs> there we go. Oh, cool. So now we'll go here. There. There we go. And then we could cut this one off. And we could put this one under and do it like so oh yeah this is doing great okay so then um let's see we're two there so we're gonna be three here and I can just go there so let's um So we're we're three there, so let's these are actually stuck down. These are stuck down here. And we're three and three there. There we go. And then I just have to adhere it twice there. And here and then we can just cut this off here. And I can just pop that under there. Yeah. And let's just double check. Three and three. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we're three. So then we're going to be three and a half. We're going to be four and a half. So we're going to be right there and then I think I might be able to actually use this one here at let's see at four and a half right here so let me pop this one under and we'll be at four and a half right here wait wait wait, wait. okay lining up my T roller on that edge there and then we're gonna be four and a half about Right at about there. So then, uh, let's see, four and a half is going to be about there. Right about there. I think I'm, I think I'm hitting, yeah, where it's supposed to go. Press there. Make sure I'm lined up here. And then I can cut here. Oh, line it back up. Oops, wait, are we lined up here? <laughs> Make sure you're square. <laughs> you don't want to be off. You could probably put a flower on it if you're off. I wouldn't even be too serious about it. <laughs> okay, so it looks like. All right, what do we say about putting a flower on it? <laughs> there I think I think oh man okay okay so we got this side okay that's looking pretty good right that's not so bad that's looking pretty decent I'm liking it so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this side out and I think this is gonna work
Um, I haven't done the other page yet because I wasn't I wasn't quite sure, but I'm loving this. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then put that other page together to where we're at the same stage, uh, the same steps. And we have to do is put frames and title and all that fun stuff, flowers and things. So I'll be right back. Hey, I was just gonna show you. I actually taped all this these corners together on top of here on top of this page here uh, for the second page and uh, just taped the corners like I did on that one but I didn't put the dimensional foam to make it easier and so I was actually just going to go ahead and see what it looks like or I wonder uh, we'll just give it a try oh like so and see what happens when we do this and hope for the best so i think i'm gonna uh oh yeah look at that look how nice that is that is nice look at that that came out really good so i think what i want to do too is let's when we flip it over uh, when we flip it over, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tape. I'm actually going to tape these together. Um, I'm going to tape these together and I'm going to. Uh, but we can do permanent tape. Um, uh, like so. So that way. And then I'll put foam across the corner too like I did on the other ones. But that way it holds it nice and uh, steady like that. Like, and then I can apply the, the foam adhesive to it as well. So I'm going to do this. Same thing, corner to corner. Like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. Like that. Take the corner pieces off that aren't staying. Oh, take this piece off because it's just going to kick out the back and make it look ugly so then i'll go ahead and tape these as well and do that the whole way around and i think that is actually going to work out the nicest um yeah for let's see what that looks like right doesn't that look great and then let's see if it yeah look at that i think that looks pretty good I think those quarters, I think those will go. Those are those are pretty pretty snazzy, huh? That worked pretty decent. So just tape your corners together, cut them, then tape the corners back together uh, after you cut them. So I'm going to do that on those, pop some foam, finish this up. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Isn't that terrific? Oh, I think that's so fun. So now that we got that, oh, and I ended up with four pieces left, so two inches um, you didn't need, but I also utilize the pieces that I cut off for these smaller sections as well. So yeah, this worked really good. The other thing I thought about on this here was if, um, I would have left this turned over before I put the foam adhesive on the back of it, left it turned over and lined up all these and attached them to the back of this, then put the foam tape on the back of this and the, oh no, this one is actually set down just a tad. Because the foam tape is higher on this than it is on this. So never mind, that wouldn't have worked. Okay, never mind. Do it the way I already did it, the quick way that I showed you on the second one, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so now what I want to do is I want to adhere this trim. I'm going to hot glue it to here, right? Look how pretty that is. Am I going to add a ton? That is so nice. So I've actually already got my hot glue gun already. Uh, oh... And you don't need a lot. You're just kind of, um, and you want to make sure it's on the proper side, uh, corner to corner, lined up well. And I think that looks pretty good. And now I can actually take and cut that off and look how nice that looks. That looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to just ad hot glue uh, this trim all the way around on both sides. And I'll show you what that looks like. I'll be right back. Okay, so we got that done. Let's see, can you, 
Can you guys see it? Like, right? Isn't it so pretty? Look how good that looks. Just layering up those different little textures with the embroidered little rose ribbon and that lace uh, ribbon there on top of that. And then you have the dimension of each of the different heights of the border and the little checkered background. But doesn't it remind you of one of those, like, uh, bulletin boards that you would put your pictures on? Uh, that we'd make, like, I don't know, early 2000s, late 90s, I don't even know. But, right, might have even been after that. Could have been 2010. I don't know. Everything blurs together. But I just think this is turning out so cool. So, now what I want to do is I'm going to get out my, oh, uh, let's see, concentric. Oh, I don't even know. Um, I'm going to get out my card, uh, card, concentric compendium dies. And I have the square ones and I have the um, regular ones. I, I'm thinking I want to do square, though. I think these just would be so fun. Um, oh, that's big. That is really big. So what if we do some of these? Because I want the background to show still. So we could do... I'm thinking cattywampus. Like, they're like cattywampus on the... Um, like you would put them in. Uh, let's see. So I'm thinking something like that. And then what if I just do two? What if I do... We could do a couple of little ones. We could do a couple little ones like that. So I'll do... So we'll do two of these like this. One like that. And then I could probably fit a title right there. But I don't know as if... And I'm going to do that for both. Um, and then I there's a layering die for this one. So I think I'm going to do this in gold. And then um, the layers here. So let's see. I'm going to do four of these and two of these for each page. One for each, you know, set for each page. And then these here, I think um, I'll find some paper and layer those up. And then all we need is embellishments and a title. So let me do this. Get some layering paper and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what I've done. I've taken this other paper. There, This has light pink with a gold uh, detail on the back of this one. And uh, I just cut layers to fit. You can use the dies. There's layering dies in this square card-centric compendium die set. And so, um, but it was, It's sometimes it's just quicker just to use a manual thing. So I just use my paper cutter and just cut them all out. Um, and so I did the medium square one and then the small one, I did that three times and I thought it'd be fun to like kind of cascade them around each side, um, like that. So I already adhered these together uh, with some ATG gun. Um, and then I'm just going to glue these right down, but I wanted to see about maybe, um, putting a, f a little flower, I don't know, I was thinking maybe a flower cluster there that these, like, kind of follow around, contour around, is what I was thinking. Um, with those pink ones that we had found earlier. And seeing what that looked like. Um, or maybe these dark pink ones. Maybe, because that's kind of a clustery. Uh, I wonder, well, let's see, we'd have to go, that one goes that way. I wonder... I wonder what we could get for, let's see, do they go the opposite? Oh, good, they go the opposite. So we could even do those, but I don't know. Wait, let me find these other ones. Oh, right here. We probably don't even have to do anything else with this one. Hold on. Let's see, we could do that. Well, yeah, I do like these with the aesthetics. These are like more lacy looking to me. So I think I'm going to figure out something with these. Two. Oh, did we not have two pink ones? Hey, I thought we had two pink ones. Do you guys remember if there was two pink ones? I think there were two pink ones, right? Oh, yeah, two pink ones. Got it. Check. 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 So, I think... Okay, we got the two pink ones there. And, let's see. We could even toss in a little... Maybe... Uh, yeah, I think it probably just gets lost. I don't think we need... I don't think we need any more on that. Um, what about this? This was just sitting there. Could I use that? Could we use that to go around? These were already in there. Will this just be like... Oh, hey! Hey, that gives me a little, like, clustery. Oh, let's see. And we could pop those up with Dimension just to give us a little more... Opa! 
Oh, and a butterfly. There's a little butterfly. So maybe we'll figure out where to put the little butterfly. Uh, let's see. I need another one of those. Oh, I hope we have one. Oh, right there. Oh, this is working out terrifically. Oh, perfect. Oh, no. Okay, I can use this one. Oh, yeah, I can use both of these. Oh, terrific. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do that. We're going to do something like ish. And uh, hang on, that's buddy. Okay, so I also found some titles. Um, I'm going to do favorite memories and blessings. But then I was thinking that, I don't know, I almost think it needs a third element but of green. But this might be, I don't know. Maybe this would work. I don't, because there's green in the flowers. Could that be the third? Um, I don't know. The other thing I was thinking about was adding lace to the top of this bouquet as well. Um, a lace, like, finger bow. Let me get some lace and make a little bow real quick. Let me see what that looks like. Hold on. Okay, so I think, I think I'm going to work with this. I think I'm going to work with the, uh, memories, the favorite memories and the blessings. I'm going to leave off the one I was going to add and I think I'm just going to add these so I got this little finger bow though or isn't that just the cutest thing and I'm going to work with these guys giving them dimension and stuff and and these as well and then this little blue and pink one I'm going to pop right on the top of that little bow I thought that'll be really pretty for that texture there and then tie everything back together oh I could add those flowers oh that's oh I'll, actually I could add those flowers right in the center of that bow oh that's exactly Okay, so to tie back, to bring this back in, um, I have, oh, there was actually a little piece. Oh, perfect. I wonder if I could pop this. Oh, I'll pop a piece of that on the bottom of each of the uh, frames. I think that'll be so pretty. Um, oh, yeah, that's, oh, this is perfect. And then um, I'll just pop it at the bottom of all the frames. Okay, so let's start getting this stuff glued down. Um, let's see, I want to add this one. And so, oh, actually, let's put score tape on these. So let me, um, gosh, this one, like, needs to, this one needs to pop a little, um, like, up. So it's not just so bleh. So let's get some, uh, right? Isn't it kind of blow like that? It needs a little hoppa, a little oomph, a little help. Help you down. Yeah, it needs a little, a little. A little help. Oh, bummer. There we go. Right? I found if I give those ones that don't have the um, pull tabs, if I just give them a little twist, they come off pretty good. Yeah, that looks, that looks nice. Okay, we're going to do that. And then should we pop these up as well? No, we want these down. So, I think we'll just put score tape on the back of these. And they'll have, or should we pop them up? Should they come off the page? Huh. Well, let me run some dimensionals on the back of these. And see what, um, let's just, let's just give it a whirl. Let's just see what it looks like. Let's see where, let's see. I've got these. You only need a few, or a uh, few, a couple of them. Uh, let's see. We'll go like that, and then we'll do a little something. Oh, that's going to be on those. Uh, yeah. Let's see what this looks like. Right? Oh, that looks pretty fun. Actually, yeah, let's pop these up, too. So let's, I'll put dimensionals on the back of these as well. And uh, pop these up. Let's see. Yeah, let me, let me do that. Let me put some dimensionals on the back of all these pictures. And then pop them up where they're at. Uh, and, oh, and hot glue the little piece to the bottom there. And then we'll come back and do our little flower cluster. I'll be right back. Yeah, oh yeah, the video's long. Okay, hold on. Oh, good deal, my, uh. The camera's still going. Oh, cool. I thought I was going to have to scrap this video, guys. <laughs> My bark mulch came in and I had to go and load it. And then one of the pallets, like, 
fell over. So you had to do it by hand. Okay, well, um, as you can tell, I'm still in the same spot. So um, I will get, I think I was just gluing everything down. So I'll get it glued down. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Uh, they're finished. So um, yeah, I just went ahead and popped the frames all up on the line dimensionals, the really thin ones. Um, decorated up the bottom of them with that beautiful lace trim to bring that back in. Um, pop these up on the Heartfelt Creation super thick dimensionals the, along with that flower embellishment. And then hot glued the lace bow on top with a little bit more of that beautiful rose trim. Added that around uh, at the bottom of the uh, title. I thought that was really cool. And then pop the butterfly up on a, a really tall dimensional as well and um I thought I just I just think this came out so pretty I just love it I think it rem it reminds me of one of those those bulletin boards you know with the straps you stuff them all in and stuff I think it's just super fun so um so favorite memories and then blessings and then I I think this one just came out so pretty as well so there we go and I'm not sure which way I'm gonna put them if I'm gonna do them like this or go back to this way this was the original format um, and I might, I might do that. Let me know which way should I put them in the album like that or, or the other way. I'm not sure. I think it's pretty either way though, huh? I think, I think that would look really nice either way. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I think I'm going to stick with the original plan though. Stick to the plan guys. Don't change. <laughs> but there it is there. Gosh, isn't it funny how sometimes the ones that seem like the easiest take the longest. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought that this it seems very simple it would have taken as long as it did but if you're still here thanks for hanging out thanks for sticking around thanks for supporting the channel i really appreciate appreciate it um hope you guys are having a ton of fun in your craft rooms uh hopefully i'll get to see you at crop at home four uh it'd be fun to catch you on the chat and um then see what you guys are all making um via whether you you post a comment on on one of those chats in one of the classrooms or um or on those group chats and stuff uh, at the beginning uh that's really fun too i love to connect with people there and everything and then um or we see the makes on the griffinites um new page uh for all the fun at the create events so yeah let me know what you guys think of the pages down below i hope you guys have a terrific rest of your weekend um, or week. And thanks so much for hanging out. Until next time, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.